2016 Lexus GSF review What's new for 2016? The 2016 Lexus GSF is a new model in the GS lineup this year. Introduction with the GSF, Lexus steps into the ring with some of the most accomplished performance sedans on the market. The GSF is the fourth member of the brand's performance-oriented F lineup and borrows from its stable mates to ratchet up its firepower and capability. Lexus F models are a response to BMW's M division, Mercedes-Benz AMG, Cadillac's V series and Audi's RS models. Based on the existing GS350, the GSF wears its reinvigorated attitude on its proverbial sleeve. Boasting more aggressive bodywork, quad tailpipe tips, carbon fiber accents and 19-inch wheels. Fears a raft of enhancements under the skin to back up the tougher look, as you would expect in a car of this segment. The GSF's naturally aspirated 5.0-litre V8 churns up 467 horsepower. It's the same engine found in the RCF and is complemented by a torquey vectoring rear differential, upsized brakes and a retuned suspension, all of which promise to elevate this luxury sedan's performance to new heights. Even the structure of the car itself has been reinforced to better cope with the rigors of high-performance driving. However, while the regular GS line is a final around luxury sedan, the GSF has a more difficult time truly standing out in this all-star league. Although its curb weight just north of £4,000 is relatively light for the class, the GSF is also packing less torque than its turbocharged competition. The 2016 Cadillac CTSV is far more powerful and costs similarly, while the traditional German choices, the 2016 BMW M5 and 2016 Mercedes-Benz AMG E63, dish up more performance than the Lexus. We also suspect that the GSF, as it lacks an adaptive suspension, won't be able to match those models' dynamic range of handling and ride comfort. The GSF's price is lower, though. That might be enough of a draw for shoppers who don't need ultimate performance and just want a well-equipped GS sedan with a Boffo V8 under the hood. Body styles, trim levels, and options The 2016 Lexus GSF is a five-seat luxury sedan offered exclusively with rear-wheel drive. Standard equipment includes 19-inch wheels, LED headlights, heated auto-dimming side mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, driver-selectable drive modes, leather upholstery, heated and ventilated daytway power front seats with tower power lumbar, driver seat memory functions, a power tilt and less coping steering wheel and power rear sunshade. Standard tech features include Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity, Lexus remote touch interface, a 12.3-inch screen with navigation, a rear view camera and a 12-speaker surround sound audio system with a CD player, satellite and HD radio a USB interface and an auxiliary audio jack. Also included is Siri integration for selector phones, and Inform Remote, which can remotely start the engine, adjust climate control, monitor the vehicle's position and set limits and receive alerts for speed, distance and curfew. Available standalone options include a 17-speaker premium Mark Levinson sound system, a sunroof and premium paint. Power trains and performance The highlight of the GSF is its engine, a 5.0-litre V8 that develops 467 horsepower and 389 pound-feet of torque. It's a high-roving power plant that was borrowed intact from the RCF. As in that car, the GSF is available exclusively with an 8-speed automatic gearbox with an element of manual control via paddle shifters mounted to the steering wheel. According to Lexus, the GSF will accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. Perhaps a better gauge of its thrust is its quarter mile elapsed time of 12.8 seconds. It's certainly quick 
though even this heady performance slacks the fireworks of its competition. An automatic stop-start function, high compression ratio and clever variable valve timing help to conserve fuel. EPA estimates that GSF will return 19 miles per gallon combined 16 city 24 highway, which is quite good compared to other sedans in this segment. Safety standard safety features for the 2016 Lexus GSF include anti-lock brakes, stability and traction control, front knee airbags, full length side curtain airbags, front and rear side airbags and a rear view camera. The standard Inform Safety Connect system includes automatic collision notification, stolen vehicle location and an emergency assist button. Also standard is Adaptive Cruise Control, Lane Departure Warning, Lane Departure Intervention, Automatic High Beams and a Forward Collision Warning System that includes pedestrian detection as well as forward collision mitigation with automatic braking. While the GSF is a new model, Crash testing performed by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety for the GS series as a whole earned the highest score of good in the moderate overlap frontal offset impact test. It also earned a good score for the side impact, roof strength and seats and head restraints rear impact whiplash protection tests. It's not yet clear whether the GSF's V8 engine will result in any deviations from the above results. Interior design and special features starting with the cabin found in lesser GS models is a fine jumping off point for the GSF, since Lexus employs high quality materials and a design motif that owes nothing to its rivals. For the GSF, the supple leather and aluminium trim are supplemented by synthetic suede accents at certain touch points and carbon fiber trim across the dashboard. It also receives a pair of unique front seats that have more prominent bolsters to support enthusiastic driving. As in other GS models, the GSF seats 5 and the rear seats have ample head and leg room for two adults. One area that island a weak point in the GSF cabin is the Lexus remote touch interface, which is the only means by which to interact with the infotainment system. Mainly, it's the mouse-like controller, which is the primary method for making audio and navigation selections, and it's far from ideal. Although the display screen is sharp, cursor control with the device is jerky, particularly when on the move. Lexus is paying attention to criticisms of this interface because for 2016 the system gains some additional menu shortcuts but the reality is that most tribal infotainment controllers are less distracting to use. The trunk's 14 cubic feet of cargo capacity is on par for the segment, but the rear seats do not fold to expand the cargo volume. Instead there is a center pass-through in the back seat to swallow longer objects. Driving impressions We haven't driven the 2016 GSF yet but we expect it will be similar to its kissing cousin, the RCF.